And I've got to tell you something. I have been working my you know what off trying to learn CapCut, which is an app that helps you edit your video, all of your footage. And I have had a heck of a time, but I think I've finally picked up some skills that are there. It's working, but that's not to say it's not a little bit on the rough side. So please indulge me. This is the first video that I am releasing that has all the crazy edits in it. And I hope to just continue getting better. Open to suggestions. If anybody has any, please let me know in the comments. And for now, take a look at my crazy video where I'm showing you how to make one of my most favorite breakfasts. Breakfasts? Is that, a, um, is that how you say multiple breakfasts? The breakfast that I have most days, which is a hot oatmeal breakfast, I love it. It has helped me really stay on the whole food plant-based wagon and the, the lifestyle. And I, ha I just, I feel like a million bucks and I think that oatmeal has a lot to do with it. So thank you so much. And now without further ado, here is my video. I'm Ellen Allard of Ellen's Healthy Kitchen and it is my mission to help you plant your plate one healthy meal at a time. This is what I have pretty much every single day for breakfast. Lately, I've been adding more water than I used to. I used to do a cup of water. Now I do almost a cup and a half. I want to, first of all, make room for the cauliflower. Can you even believe it? I also want to dilute the calorie density, which is really what is going to help satiate me and keep me full until I'm ready for lunch. While I'm waiting for the water to come to a boil, I took out my fruit, strawberries, the most delicious cherry plums, some blueberries. I also have my granola, homemade, and a half a cup of oats. I'm going to turn this down to medium, cinnamon. I buy a large bag of frozen rice cauliflower and I transfer it to this container, keep it in my freezer, and then I put in about half a cup. I have developed this habit over time, it didn't happen right away, of having this oatmeal for breakfast. Sometimes I have an oatmeal waffle, sometimes I have oatmeal pancakes, most of the time I have this hot oatmeal. I love it because I think that it gives me a lot of nutrition in one bowl. You have the oats, you have the cauliflower, which you cannot taste, I guarantee it. You have the flax meal, which I add at the end. You have banana, which I use to sweeten it, plus the fruit that goes into it. And it's very watery now, but you'll see, it gets thicker. I went into my frozen banana stash. I'm going to mash them. And I'm going to keep this liquid. That's sweet banana juice. Add it. I'm going to get my fruit ready. I like to use a cutting board that is dedicated to fruit because when I cut the fruit on my other cutting board that I leave next to my sink, this one, I cut onions on it and it tends to retain that oniony smell. And I don't want oniony blueberries. Cherry berry plums. These are so delicious. I love them. How pretty is that? All that red. Mm -hmm. Golden flax, granola, maple syrup. There's my bowl of oatmeal. Isn't it beauteous? I'm Ellen Allard of Ellen's Healthy Kitchen, and this is your reminder to plant your plate one healthy meal at a time.